Okay, lovely Leos. Thank you guys for tuning in to your love reading. It's going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also check your Jupiter, your North Node, what signs in your seventh house, all right? It's not going to resonate with every single Leo energy that watches. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, personal readings in the description box, you guys. Um, yeah, I usually do fire signs on Tuesdays, but um, Monday it was storming here and um, my power kept going in and out, so I wasn't able to finish readings. So I am kind of behind this week, but I will get everybody out this week. It just won't be on the day that I usually do it. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, let's see what comes out for you guys. <laughs> it's actually storming right now as we speak, so hopefully all goes well. Release your ex, Leo. Ciao. That's the energy we're starting off with. Ooh, codependency. Mm. Ciao, Leo. So either you're codependent on someone or someone's codependent on you. Take it how it resonates. Children. Oh, and separation comes out. Mm. Leo, this energy. <sighs> I don't know. Let's see what spirit has to say, though. Yeah, I might hear thunder and stuff in the background, guys. So just a heads up. The show must go on, though. As long as I got electricity. <laughs> All right. Ooh, the King of Swords. Could be an air sign, particularly an Aquarius. Okay. The Four of Pentacles. Ooh. A better card couldn't have come for that row. Wow. Um, you guys are definitely holding on to something. Queen of Wands and the eight of swords oh queen of swords on the bottom okay so some of you guys might be dealing with a divine counterpart um with it being the swords suit i feel like um both people are kind of closed off um some of you guys might be prolonging a separation that's needed some of you guys might need to detach uh from a situation um, at least for the time being, Leos, okay? I'm seeing a lot of, um, there's that thunder, guys. I'm seeing a lot of, of needing to detach, um, holding on too tightly to something, uh, Leo, okay? There we go. Ah, it flipped over, but then it didn't. Okay. Um, ooh, the Empress. Oh, the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles uh, with the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you guys are dealing with a divine counterpart. Um, I feel like, though, this is kind of saying, too, that you guys are kind of holding on to each other. And if it's not physically, it's energetically, um, Leos, okay? I'm feeling like something needs to give here. Either um, you guys change y'all's dynamic or you completely just release the energy, at least for right now, okay? I'm seeing some of you might have a child with this person. Um, could be an Aries, uh, an Aries child, doesn't have to be. Oh, and it flipped over again. The Nine of Pentacles comes up. I'm seeing the star again. So I'm seeing Aquarius and I'm seeing the Ace of Cups comes out. So um, Leo, exactly what I thought. Some of you guys need to get some type of independence of some sort. Could be financially. Either you or someone in your energy needs to do this. Um, it might be you, uh, Leo. Okay. I'm seeing someone needs to get some type of independence. You could be dealing with uh, an Aries, an Aquarius, uh, a Libra, Taurus. Aries is here twice. So, um, yeah. Oh, 
Also, guys, I'd be careful if you decide to have some type of rendezvous with with this person because it might result in uh, in a child. Okay, so if y'all decide you want to have some type of fling or whatever with this person, uh, if you want to, you know, have something like physical with with this person, it could result in uh, a child. All right, so just be mindful of that. I'm not going to take all these, but I'll show you guys. Oh yeah, the sun, two of cups, the emperor again. I'm seeing you guys. Um, all these damn cards keep flipping over. What is that? The hierophant. Um, Leo, I feel like you guys have a really good connection, either coming in or you have a really good connection with this person. But something's got to give first. Something's got to give. Might be it. Might be uh somebody's having a fling or something. Yeah, I feel like too. Um, a lot of you guys are are uh. Your happiness is dependent on on if if you're talking to this person or not. Uh, um, Leo, you too much of your happiness and too much of your of your uh. Your self-worth is tied up into this person, um, Leo. You have to get to a place of, you know, I'm cool if it, if it happens, I'm cool if it doesn't type of energy, okay? It's going to happen when it's supposed to, Leo. Okay. Um, yes. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> thank you, spirit. I love it. Thank you. I keep seeing, okay, the five of pentacles almost flipped over. See, I'm getting the vibe, Leo, is you feel like you're missing something when you're not with this person, but you're not missing out on anything. Some of you might detach from this person and meet a, a whole nother motherfucker that treats you beautifully, that treats you lovely, but you need to detach from this in order to get what you want. Um... Leo and I feel like like I said a lot of your self esteem is tied up into this person and like I said you might have a child with this person that could be why um, some of you may think you have to be with this person because you gotta work things out with this person because you have a child with them and that's just not true okay you know you, you can do things on your own Leo you're dope on your own and I feel like once you once you get this to this level of independence, first of all, this person's gonna come back around. What I tell you, Aries and the Fool comes. A lot of you guys dealing with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. The Fool. This person's gonna come back around, trying to trying to get. Listen, guys, confidence is sexy. The Hierophant comes out, baby. When I tell you, man, listen. Once you get this to this Nine of Pentacles, this level of independence, you're gonna be untouchable, Leo. Like, nobody's going to be able to fuck with you. At all. Period. Like, you 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 have that you have that commitment. Oh, guys. The high priestess. So, we have the empress, the emperor, the high, the hierophant, and the high priestess here. You're definitely dealing with a divine counterpart. And not only that, I feel like there's another one. Um, for some of you, if that's what you're seeking. Uh, that that could come in and come around once you let go of this code mm, the eight of cups on the bottom i love it thank you spirit once you let go of this codependency on this person leo you're gonna get everything that you want soon as you let go you holding on too tight thank you spirit Leo, you listen, if you're listening to this reading, you need to hear it. You holding on too tight to something. Something needs to end. Yep. Three of swords. And it might hurt for a lot of you. A lot of you, it's going to hurt. Yep. Five of cups. It's going to hurt. Because I feel like for a lot of you, um, you feel like you might lose this person to someone else. But listen, Leo. <sighs> If if you live in this type of fear, where you're scared that if you if you uh, you know detach from this person that there be with someone else, then this isn't your person, Leo. Okay, you have to accept that. If you're scared you're going to lose them to someone else, that's not your person. 
um, Leo. Okay, like I mean, I, I know it's it's hard and it's tough, but you you got to detach. Once you detach from this, you're gonna get what you want, whether it's this person, or if whether it's a whole new connection. All right. You got to release this, uh, Leo, at least for the time being, and just start being more in emotionally and financially and really everything independent. Let go of this codependency you have with on this person, uh, Leo. Do you ever think of me? I'm just going to pull a few of these. Some of you guys dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. It doesn't have to be, okay? I love you more than I showed you, yeah. I hope it's not too late. Yeah, for some of you with this, I hope it's not too late. I feel like you guys, uh, it, it's going to take some time for this person to come around. I think I've, I've done a reading for like this for you guys before. Could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, also, this heavy air, because you have the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Knight, and the Knight of Swords here, uh, which is Gemini as well. I love you by Drew Hill. So if you have doubts, Leo, that this person loves you, they may not show it or they may not act like it. Um, I'm waiting to hear from you. This might be your energy, Leo, okay? It better not be someone else. Again, that could be your energy, could be theirs. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like you guys need some time apart. Um, you need time apart from this person. Um, if you have a child with them, of course, you're not going to be able to abandon them. But you have to learn how to detach from the outcome of this situation in order to get what you want. Because I feel like you guys are causing yourselves unnecessary stress and you're also blocking your blessings, um, Leo. Stuff can't circulate. Stuff can't move um, if you're holding on too tight to something, okay? Release it and be happy. Release it with love. And if it returns then it was meant to be. If it doesn't, you have an actual divine counterpart coming your way. All right? So Leo, that's y'all's reading. If it resonated, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>